Alright guys, Daniel here, and today I'm just going to go ahead and be doing a video on the limited time trading. As you may or may not know, there's been a lot of hate for the limited time trading not being there. You could only show it for the regular items like the Evolution Essence, or the Ancient Spirit Shards, or the Rings, or what have you. It doesn't actually show the Jewel upgrading, and that's what a lot of people were getting angry about. A lot of people were exclaiming out to IGG. Saying that they're not going to go ahead and spend trying to initiate a boycott. I have done a little bit of research into this. Trying to figure out what exactly was going on. Why that limited time trading was removed. And what's going to happen from this point. And from the information that I have got on. I'm going to go ahead and give that to you as well. That will give you a little bit more information. From what I've gathered. Since that jewel up trading from the limited time trading isn't in the game anymore. What's going on? is they are temporarily removing it basically so it won't be permanent at least from what i've seen what they're going to be doing is they are going to be changing it igg says that it will be for the better i'm not too confident that this will be the case because from what i've gathered they are going to be changing how the limited time trading works for that jewel up trading from what i've seen though it won't actually be affecting the spend events Normally what happens is if you have a jewel up trading from the limited time trading, if you have say a 15,000 to 19,000, once you go ahead and spend that 15,000, you'll get an extra 4,000 jewels, but it'll count as you spending 15,000 jewels in a spending event. What I've gathered is that if they do still have a jewel up trading, which it seems like they will, it won't actually take effect for the spending event. It'll just go ahead and give you a nice bonus to your jewel count. What I've also seen is that there will be additional things you can use to trade for resources. It won't just be jewels. For example, I'll go ahead and show a screenshot for a Mystic Crystal trade. Basically, you can trade 100,000 Mystic Crystals for 600 rings. A lot of people do have a lot of Mystic Crystals, so it is generally a good idea. The only th reason I can see about keeping them will be in case they introduce any more spells. I don't think that will happen pretty soon though, if, it, if they do that at all. But what I can see, from what I've gathered, it won't just be jewel trading, that'll be for the limited time trading in the future. Once they do, go ahead and come back with that. From what I've gathered, it is going to have the jewel up trading still there, but it's not going to count for the spend and win event. And it's also going to have different rewards, not only with the jewels, but other rewards as well. I just wanted to go ahead and just get this video out for you guys. I know a lot of hate has been happening against IGG. I know a lot of hate for that. I just wanted to go ahead and get this out, get some information out for you guys. If you do have anything that you found out so far, go ahead and leave a comment down below. We're all searching for answers here. I just went ahead and got a little bit of information. And I would love to go ahead and get any sort of factual information as well. The reason that they're doing this at all is because they've noticed that a lot of people are saving 15,000 jewels and they're not going down to zero jewels. So basically, 15,000 jewels is the new zero jewels, basically the new bottom where you don't want to go ahead and drop below so that you can exchange for the limited time trading. They were realizing that the 15,000 jewels that people were having. They weren't actually spending that. That was 15,000 jewels that wasn't going to be spent on anything in-game. So it wasn't going to be removed from that revenue pool. So that's why they went ahead and started initiating this. But I did want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.